Hello and welcome everybody. In today's video we are gonna talk about and demonstrate uh, how we can link aggregation uh, from uh, the distributed switch going to the physical switch. Uh, this is a connection that is gonna have to be done uh, or a configuration that has to be done uh, in phases, uh, otherwise you will lose connection, you will lose connectivity to the V center, or you will lose connectivity to the ESXi host or something similar. Um, so, so the first thing I'm gonna uh, go is to the distributed switch to the networking tab on the v vSphere client. Um, as you can see, I have two ESXi hosts, I have two of them open here is for demonstrate uh, demonstration purposes and so I'm gonna go to the networking tab and as you can see we already have a distributed switch created and this distributed switch is uh, handling all the traffic uh, all the um, virtual machines all the uh, VM kernels all their port groups uh, are migrated already into the a distributed switch. If you would like to know or learn how to do this, uh, you can watch my prior video and you, you'll learn how to do it in a very easy way without losing connectivity as well. Uh, so, uh, as, you, as we can see, everything is uh, up and running right now. Everything is configured that way. So what we're gonna do is what we're gonna create a link aggregation uh, to handle all this traffic and basically create a pipe uh, of uh, different physical connections and bundle them together so that we can have a uh, more bandwidth uh, going from in the from the ESX size to the physical network or the physical switch so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the LACP uh, tab and we are gonna create a new one uh, we're gonna name it. Uh, I'm just gonna name it a uh, lag one. Uh, it doesn't really matter whatever makes sense to you. Uh, the number of ports is gonna be the same number of ports that you have on the ESXi servers, on the physical servers. So my three servers running ESXi uh, have four ports total. So I'm gonna configure four for the number of ports uh, for the link aggregation group. The mode, uh, I'm gonna leave it as passive and I'm gonna leave the low balancing mode as is. I'm gonna click OK. And as you can see, our uh, link aggregation group is created right here. Uh, use, by using this link, we can uh, vSphere gives us some kind of like uh, steps that we can follow uh, to complete the migration. So this is what we're gonna use. Uh, it uh, does a pretty good job to uh, walk you through the, the steps that you need to take in order to, to migrate to the link aggregation groups. So the first thing we're gonna do is the, uh, set the lag as a standby uplink on the distributed switch on the distributed port group so let's go here we're gonna click teaming and failover and click next next we are gonna select all three port groups click next and we're gonna select the lag one that we just created and we're gonna uh, set it up as standby uh, as a standby uplink uh, we're not gonna touch any of these settings and we're gonna click next it's gonna give you a warning saying that this configuration basically is not a, it's not a real configuration it's not something that is supported but it's something that is a step that you need to take uh, in order to make this happen without losing any uh, connectivity so we're gonna click OK giving you a small summary of the changes that you're about to make and uh, we're gonna click finish now once uh, we do that step if we go to the topology of this uh, distributed switch uh, we can see that the newly created uh, link aggregation port is here but it's not being utilized everything is still going to the 
through the physical uh, uplinks to the uh, individual uplinks or NIC adapters. Uh, so now we have to uh, take the next, the next step. We're gonna go back to link aggregation. Uh, we're gonna click on the same link and we're gonna add and, ma and manage host. We're gonna manage host, click next. We're gonna manage all three hosts. We're gonna click OK and click next. Now, here we all we gotta do is basically assign some of these uh, uh, VM NICs to the newly created link aggregation po uh, group. So as of right now, all four on all three ESXi hosts are going through the uplink uh, for the uh, on the distributor switch. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna take two of them and assign it to the link aggregation group. That way we s we're gonna still have two of them going through the regular distributed switch and two of them are gonna be going through the link aggregation board a uh, group. So we, we, we're gonna do three and two, VM NIC two and three on each ESXi uh, host and we're gonna assign it to the link aggregation group. So the first thing, if I click on VM NIC2, I'm gonna unassign it. I'm gonna apply this operation to all other hosts. And I'm gonna do the same to VM NIC3. Once you do that, uh, you go back to VM NIC2 and assign uplink, but instead of assign it to, the, uh, to a regular uplink like the other two, we're gonna assign it to the lag one port. So I'm gonna assign this to two, do that for all the hosts, and I'm gonna assign this one to three, and then do that same thing for uh, all hosts. Click OK, and I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna click next. And I'm gonna click next on here because we don't need to do anything with migration or VMs, uh, VMs or anything like that. Click next and click finish. If we go back to the topology of the switch, we can see now that some of these uh, links are now migrated to uh, the link aggregation group. Uh, ESXi1 has uh, VM NIC2 and VM NIC3 as well ESXi2 and ESXi3 they have all VM NIC2 and 3 assigned to the link aggregation group but if I click on them you see that there is no traffic going through them because it's in on a standby mode uh, all, the, all the traffic is only going through the uplink right so now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, do some configuration on the physical side of the equation. We're gonna do some configuration on the switch to tie it into this uh, link aggregate. To the switch and here we can see that uh, if I do a show run interface 30, 30, 35 and 36, 35 and, th and 36 are the uh, physical uh, links going to ESXi1 uh, and it's going to the to port uh, to the physical ports 3 and 4 of the ESXi or in other words to VMNIC 2 and 3 of ESXi1 so these two guys right here are tied to these two right here and then same thing I'm gonna do with these two and these two, which uh, two and VM NIC two and VM NIC three is tied to the physical uh, switch port uh, three zero uh, twenty five and three zero twenty six, three zero eleven, three zero twelve. All right. So uh, if I do a short run interface on all those interfaces, they all have the same uh, configuration but they need to be bundled into one uh, port channel right into three different port channels uh, each going through its own 
ESXi, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create first, I'm gonna create the port channel interface. So I'm gonna say interface PO1, PO2, and PO3. So those are the three port channel interface that we're gonna need. And uh, we're gonna give you some uh, configuration. So interface uh, PO1, uh, we're gonna configure it just like this. PO2 is gonna be the same. And PO3 is gonna be the same. All right, so all three interface, uh, port channel interface are configured to be a, a trunk, allowing the, the VLANs that we need to allow and with an encapsulation of dot one q uh, So now we need to assign those physical uh, switch ports, right, to those uh, port channel interface that we just created. So what we're gonna do is interface range FA3, 0, 11, and 12, right? 11 and 12 are here, 11 and 12, going to ESXi3. I'm gonna say channel group three, because they're going to ESXi3 and I want to keep it in, in a way that I can understand for troubleshooting and things like that. And the mode is gonna be on. Okay, interface range uh, FA three zero twenty five and twenty six. They are gonna be channel group two mode one and thirty five and thirty six are gonna be one. If I go, I do N and do a show ether channel summary, we can see that uh, for port channel 1, we have uh, 35 and 36, port channel 2 is 35, uh, 25 and 26, and port channel 3, we have 11 and 12. And they are under a P status, which means a bundle in port channel. So that's good. That's why you want to see a P. All right. If we go back here, we can see that uh, we still have connectivity to the to the vCenter. We also still have connectivity to the ESXi hosts, right? I can go back here and I have connectivity to all three uh, because even though this poor uh, uh, channel in the physical switch and this link aggregation groups on the vCenter switch uh, are already tied to each other they are on a standby mode which means no traffic is going through them only through here only through the uplinks is, is where all the traffic is going now the next step is gonna be to assign this link aggregation group to be the active uh, the active link to be passing traffic on to pass all the traffic so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here and click on the link. And if we scroll down, I believe, if we go here uh, on number three, for some reason I'm not able to see it, but if you go through manage distributed port groups, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna go to teaming and failover. You're gonna go next. You're gonna uh, select all uh, port groups that apply in my case it's all three of them and we are gonna uh, assign the uh, link aggregation group to be the active port so I'm gonna bring it all the way up and I'm gonna take all the uplinks out of the equation right so all of them are unused only link aggregation group one is gonna be used so all the traffic is gonna be passed through that so I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna click finish. Now, if I go to the topology of the switch and I click here, you see that there is no traffic going through them. 
it's the opposite now all the traffic is going through the uh, link aggregation group so yeah, I'm gonna uh, expand this and you can see that all the traffic is going through the link aggregation group no none of the traffic is going through the uh, through the op links so from here on is easy the rest uh, all we gotta do uh, now is uh, super easy because we already moved into the link aggregation port uh, group all this traffic is being passed through that pipe through that bundle all we gotta do now is uh, add the other two uh, VM links into that bundle and the way we're gonna do that is uh, super easy we're gonna go back in here we're gonna go to the my uh, to the link and we're gonna do add and manage hosts we're gonna manage host networking we're gonna select all three hosts click next and as you can see uh, VM link two and three of each ESXi host is part of the link aggregation group but not zero and one so we're gonna add zero and one to that group all right so let's select zero on assign it apply it to all the hosts and one on assign it and apply it to all hosts right and now we're gonna select it again zero and assign it but instead of assigning it to the op links i'm gonna assign it to the link aggregation group and we're gonna do that for all hosts and we're gonna do the same thing for vm nick one we're gonna assign it to lag one dash one and do that same thing for all hosts click ok and as you can see now all four all four vm nicks are part of the lag or part of the link aggregation group i'm gonna say next i'm gonna say next next and finish now if we go back to the topology we are gonna see that uh, these are gonna migrate into here uh, he might take a little bit let's take a look and see what happens yep there it is so we can see that now there is nothing going through the uplink uh, everything migrated into the uh, link aggregation group uh, we have all vm nicks for all three ESXIs as part of the link aggregation group but zero and one are still not helping much because they on the other side on the switch on the physical switch is still not configured so that is the last step that we need to take we need to add those two physical uh, switch ports to each of these mm -hmm. port channel uh, interface so let's do that Let's go to com comp T. I'm gonna do interface FA309. Actually, I'm gonna do interface uh, range 309-10. And that is 309-10 uh, is this two. VM nick 0 and VM nick 1 on ESX side 3 so this is 9 this is 10 so I'm gonna do those two are gonna be channel group 3 mode on and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two which is 25 and 26 are a mode a group 2 and 35 and 36 are on group one okay so now if i go i do n and show either channel uh, summary i can see that all three oh no we're missing oh because i did uh, okay so if, uh, we can see there is now only a uh, port channel 3 has four adapters is because I repeated 35 36 25 26 I did the wrong one so if I go to uh, 25 instead of 25 and 26 is uh, 23 and 24 that's gonna be group 2 and 
33 and 34 that is gonna be group one and now if I do n and show either channel summary I can see that I have on the port channel one I have 33 34 35 and 36 which is 33 34 35 and 36 23 24 25 26 are these three so these are the first three these three then and then the last uh, i mean these four these four and then the last four are these four right here 9 10 11 and 12 are uh, going to be a sex side three so now uh, all four links all the four uh, switch ports going to each ESXi are part of the bundle are part of the uh, channel group that is going to the uh, vCenter distributed switch and from there is going to each ESXi host uh, as you can see we didn't we didn't lose any connectivity uh, this is something that you can do uh, without having to uh, shut down any VMs or uh, interrupting any uh, production or anything like that uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you have any questions or you have any comments to, to add or something that I missed uh, feel free to add it and if you enjoyed it uh, subscribe to the channel I'm